I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw our skin. S K I N. Now I'm going to put curve line, curve line, curve line all the way around so I don't forget what I'm doing. We're going to start over here on the left and we're going to draw. Let's put two fingers at the top and put a dot. And we're going to draw a straight line down. Come back to the top. Straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, connect. We're going to put right about here at the top, we're just going to draw a straight line across. And right about here at the bottom, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line. Now this is going to be a diagram, so we're going to draw everything first. Then we'll come back in and draw what we need to identify. Our skin is divided up into three layers. So I'm going to draw a triangle, straight line, triangle, straight line, triangle, straight line. Like I said, we'll start doing all the labeling in a while. Now come up to the very top and draw me a little tiny baby circle and then up, down, up, down, curve line little baby circle, little baby circle, up, down, up, down, curved line, little baby circle, little baby circle, up, down, up, down, curved line, little baby circle, little baby circle. Now I start up at the top and I put a dot and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down, curved line up, down, up, bring it back up, and connect. I come over here on the left and I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy line, connect, and then a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way down to this wavy line and mimic that line again. Okay? Above this I put little baby circles, little baby circles all the way across. I come down below and starting here on the left, I draw a wavy line up, down to the other side. Then I'm going to draw it again, wavy line up, down to the other side. Now I draw another wavy line, but I start at the bottom and I'm going to jump over. Wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, and off the page. Now I'm going to draw it again. Wavy line, jump over, wavy line, jump over, wavy line up, jump over, and off the page. Okay. I come back to this section right here and I'm just going to draw a wavy line up, wavy line, curve line, curve line out. Come back down here, wavy line up, curve line out, curve line out, out again. Alright, I come back in and I'm just going to draw more little baby circles underneath the top. Okay, I think we're ready to start labeling. So first off, we're, we've got three layers to our skin. Layer number one is the epidermis. Epidermis. And that is the barrier to the outside. So anything that could come in and mess up your skin blocks it. And this is made up of skin cells that are always shedding. Those are those little things. These are called pores. Okay? And these are hair follicles. These are all happening on the first layer. Okay? The second layer right in here is called the dermis. And it 
is the connective tissue that sends messages to our brain. Sends messages to the brain. Okay? And this second dermis has to do with touch. Now the third layer is called hypodermis and that layer stores the fat in our body but really what it's doing is it's our cushion. So when you crash into something it covers all of your bones and muscles so that you don't totally mess up everything inside your body. Okay, now come back over here, draw a line. This is a sweat gland which you need to keep your body temperature correct and these are blood vessels which we need to keep our cells uh, going. The most important thing, our skin is the largest organ of our body. It's got to cover everything. It's very, very important for one of the five senses, touch. You've got to have skin in order to have the sense of touch. So I'm going to put five senses. And our skin is very important for temperature control. So just think about being sunburned, somebody coming up and going, ooh, you don't look so good. That's usually because of the, the skin and your temperature. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, let me start off by saying none of this is real colors. This is only for us to be able to see what we've drawn. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use red to do my triangle so that you know which part is pointing to the three layers of our skin. Then I'm going to come in and use red for my blood vessels that are also going through my skin. And I'm going to use blue as another blood vessel so that you can see it's correlating to the first blood vessel. Okay, this is going all into the hypodermis. Okay, next I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to color around my blood vessels so that I know that this is skin. This is as if you took a piece of skin and cut it right in half so that you could see all the layers. Now if you do that, I'm pretty sure your skin's not going to be orange, but I'm using that so you can see the different things we drew. Next, I come over here to this curvy line, and these are my sweat glands. And you gotta sweat. If you don't sweat, your body temperature cannot cool. So those are sweat glands. Now I'm going to take a turquoise and coming up from the blood vessels, these are nerves. These little wavy lines right here, these are the nerves. You've got to have nerves to feel everything. So make those blue-green. Then I come up here and I'm just going to color in this section because these are my hair follicles. We are mammals. We do have hair all over our bodies. Up top I'm going to use a tan, if you've got tan, just for this top layer. It could be a light brown, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to use my orange again and just draw some stripes so that I know this middle layer, that's what that is. And I'm going to use purple for these little baby circles which represent cells all the way across 
and we'll use them also for our pores. We are always shedding pores and getting new pores to take their place. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is a diagram of our skin, the three layers. The most important part, remember, it's the largest organ. It has to do with our five senses, touch, and temperature control. Okay, bye-bye.